Hello everyone, uh, I'm back uh, to finish up uh, the tutorial that we started uh, two weeks ago, I think. Uh, it's about uh, the cloud, and uh, this is where we left off. Uh, if you follow the log, you should have a uh, result similar uh, to this one here. And I did go ahead and render the whole uh, animation. So if I go to the first frame and display, that's what we get. And I did that in case I want uh, to scatter more cloud in my scene. So this way you could uh, grab just uh, different frames and just scatter them in my scene to have more clouds as if I want to. So with that done now, let's uh, move to 3ds Max. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna, I want you to go ahead and save this scene here. And after when you save it, I want you to uh, delete uh, everything except the camera and the light. For the camera, we want you to go ahead and make sure that you like it. We go to the link info, unlock everything, uh, so we wouldn't uh, move it by mistake. That's one of the things that you always uh, need to do at the beginning of any project. If you have a camera handed to you, make sure you like it so you wouldn't uh, by mistake move it because sometimes you do like have a long uh, animation and when you, while you are working on it, you move the camera accidentally and after that you render everything and sometimes the render take a couple of days and after that you look at your uh, final shot and you see that there is, the camera is jumping. So we have no other choice but to re-render everything. So uh, just to avoid that, just make sure you like uh, your camera and your camera target too. So I'm gonna see, click here, select camera target. And I'm gonna like everything. And if I want to move around and just go jump to the perspective viewport. Okay, so well, let's create another uh, FemaFX grid. So I'm going to go to the top viewport. I'll make sure first uh, you save your scene. So I'm going to save as. And I'm going to call it just bad cloud. And save. Okay. So I'm going to go to the top viewport now. I'm going to check my camera. I'm going to see the, the field of view, view of the camera. So I'm going to click G to see the grid. And I'm gonna create my uh, theme effects according to the, the field of view of my camera because I don't wanna make a grid that's too big or uh, too small. And uh, because at the same time, I don't wanna add any render time while I don't need to, especially in area that I'm not gonna see in my final, final render. So right here, I'm gonna go to create panel, select theme effects. I'm gonna select the theme effects grid. So it should be from here to here, okay? So like this. And push it up. If I click C to look through the camera, that's what we see right now. I'm going to select my grid, click W, and move it down. I'm going to lower the height of my grid. And because of the spacing is uh, so high right now, you, you won't, we won't be able to lower the grid uh, to a, just to a certain amount, just because uh, you won't have any uh, voxels left to do any simulation. That's why you're, you can't lower the height anymore. So if I try to lower it, as you can see, it stops right there. It doesn't go any lower. And the reason why, because our spacing is too high, the voxels, and if I try to lower it any, uh, any further, I won't have any voxels in my uh, container. To, uh, to to fix that, you need to lower your space inside. So I'm gonna push it all the way down to one. And for the height, I'm gonna bring it down. I think that's a good size for our uh, grid. Maybe you can push it a little further. That's good enough right there. I'm going to select this grid. I'm going to open uh, the FumeFX UI. I'm going to go to uh, Object Source. Create from List. Simple Source. Now I'm going to go to the top viewport. So we can adjust the size of my uh, simple source here. I'm going to change the shape to a box. 
gonna hide my grid by pressing G. I'm not gonna make it too big. I'm gonna just make it this big, and I'm gonna increase uh, the width. Sweet enough. I'm gonna go to the left viewport, and I push this one up, and I'm gonna rotate my uh, simple source here and make it uh, facing the camera. I'm gonna click uh, E. Maybe I press A for uh, angle snap and just uh, turn it 90 degree. I'm gonna lower the length. Click W and move it up. And I'm gonna push it to the back right here. Okay. Maybe yeah, right here. I want this to push forward. I'm gonna lower the width of my beam of X grid here. That's good enough. For our uh, source, I'm gonna disable the fuel. Okay, I'm gonna disable uh, the oxygen. Temperature, I'm gonna just leave it right now at 300. For the smoke, I'm gonna set it to 20. Uh, the color. I'm gonna leave it disabled. The velocity, I'm gonna give it uh, more velocity. Let's give it five. So they will be pushed toward us. And the turbulence, I'm gonna leave it as is. For the illumination, I'm gonna click add. Then I'm gonna select my light. For the rendering, I'm gonna turn off the fire. And for the smoke, I'm gonna leave it as is for right now. Simulation, the quality, I'm gonna up it to 10. Iteration, I'm gonna lower it to 30. Now, advection, I'm gonna set it to uh, advanced field, uh, which uh, give it a more turbulent look. Time scale, I'm gonna set it to 2. For the gravity, I'm gonna turn off the gravity. Vortex, I'm gonna just increase this one to 0.8 to give it a more chaotic look. Uh, so let's give it some velocity damping, very low velocity damping. Uh, the turbulence, I'm going to set it to 0.2. Uh, the scale, I might increase, change the scale here. I'm going to just leave it for 20 right now. Uh, the black inside, I'm going to set it to minus Z. Turn off the fuel. For the smoke, smoke uh, buoyancy, I'm going to turn it off. At the dissipation minimum uh, density, so now I'm going to set it to 0 0.01. 0 0.001, so our uh, smoke basically will stay there, for, uh, there forever. That's all really what I need to do. I don't need uh, to do uh, anything else. With all that's done, I'm going to click. Uh, uh, before I do star simulation, I'm going to change my default path okay I'm not gonna change the wavelet and the post processing I just change the default since that's the only thing that I'm gonna be using and with that all that is done I'm gonna just enable my preview here I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna turn the GPU off make this a little smaller so far it's just 454 megabyte so it's not bad and let's uh, hit uh, simulate so I'm gonna let it simulate and I'll be back when it's done okay so that's what I'm getting I'm gonna just uh, cancel it right here since it's uh, hitting uh, the plateau here I'm gonna just go back maybe right here Let's lower the. I did enable the cast shadow and receive receive shadows here. Let's lower the opacity here to 0 0.5. Let's see what you're gonna get. Go to the simulation here. For the detail, I need to increase it to five. And for the scale, 
I'm gonna set this one here to 50. I'm gonna increase the scale so you will have uh, more separation between these breakouts. So with uh, these hundred generation here, I'm gonna increase my uh, resolution by lowering the spacing to 0.8 and play. So that's what we are getting so far here, as you can see. Uh, we could be happy with this, but uh, I kind of uh, don't like them going too high. But if you like what you see, then you, by all means, just take it. What I'm going to do, we have the gravity turned off. There's another way to lower our, uh, the way that our uh, smoke going uh, higher is to lower, to lower the temperature. So I'm going to just lower the temperature here. I'm going to just lower it to 200. And as you can see now, since we increased that uh, noise, we have a lot of separation between uh, the smoke now. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna increase, uh, more, give it more resolution too. So I'm gonna bring it down to 0 0.7. Play. So uh, this is what uh, I get so far. As you can see. It's not bad, it's nice. So I'm gonna just uh, do one render to one frame. So I'm gonna press Shift plus K. Yes. get all these passes enabled and really there's nothing in these passes should have just disabled them okay as you can see that's what we got it seems like it's uh, still a little bit uh, noisy uh, but if that's what you like that's fine but uh, for my taste it's still uh, too noisy so I'm gonna just uh, lower the noise I'm gonna go to the simulation. And that's how basically how to work with the, the theme effects. You gotta just keep dialing your setting up and down, up and down until you find the look that you are really after. There is no really magical numbers because it all depends. It doesn't really depend on the scale of your scene. It depends really on the scale of your raw, of your containers and your lightning, your lighting. So uh, you keep uh, changing them. There is no set rule that's uh, that applies to it so it's you, you gotta just keep changing it so i'm gonna lower this uh, turbulence on 0.2 to 0 0.05 because i really don't like this uh, kind of big turbulence that we got here and as i said it's just a game of uh, keep changing the values here and there uh, other than that yeah so let's just uh, click uh, simulate again and it'll be back when it's done Okay, so uh, this is uh, the final uh, result. I think I like this one here. As you can see, we don't have much of uh, turbulence. And it, for some I think I just let it uh, sim and it, and it came back. It seems like it simmed up, up to uh, frame 85. Let's just uh, go back here. I'm going to try to lower the opacity. To the rendering here. I'm going to put it at point, uh, 0.1. I think I like that. Let's uh, change the ambient color here. With bluish color. Click OK. And let's give it a render. Yes. Okay, I think I like that now. Let me just try to uh, move to another frame. Be right here. Let's. I'm gonna turn off my uh, all this render element here since I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna go to render elements here. I'm gonna select all of these. 
and I'm gonna click delete. Now, I'm gonna try to render this frame here. Yeah, I like that. That's way better than the other ones. As you can see, it's kind of uh, random, but we don't have that big or distinguished uh, shapes. So let's like give us a cloudy look right here. Okay. So I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this as the bed cloud. It's already saved here. Okay. Let me close it. Okay, now uh, we are done with the. After when we are done with that, we'll see, let's do some haze. 